I mean, I'm a little conflicted because I'm I'm way into peace, but like hate love. I, I find I can never, you know, uh, pick a side of the fence there. You know, <laughs> people people always uh, there's always people that disagree with me on part of my platform. Mm -hmm. I'm joking. It was a dumb bit. I'm sorry. No, that's that is tough. <laughs> I jumped in too late with the dumb bits. We were being but, so sincere. No, that's not so dumb, Kelly. Like like hate is a is a is a real emotion, and it's like. It, it overcomes us sometimes. Like, I am sorry. Like, I, I'm kind of ashamed, but I was having hateful thoughts when, when, when all those guys were honking their air horns. I've only lived like six blocks from the ledge. And, uh, you know, like, I had bad thoughts. I'm glad I didn't act on them. But, uh, it like, after eight hours of honk, 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 you, can't, you can hear it right in your house. Like, come on. Like, hard to, hard not to let the hate or the anger take over. When you're, yeah, you, there's no escape from the thing that's causing you stress. Yeah, I, I guess it's in, in a way like, like those are n normal human emotions and it's good if you, like, like if, uh, if you, uh, you get energy from being upset and angry, you get energy from that. But it, the thing is to use it for something positive and not keep dwelling on it till it becomes hate. Like just mm -hmm. you know, that, like it is there for a reason. Something's wrong, and then take that energy that you got from it, and hopefully turn it into some kind of solution. That's the way I look. Yeah, be a conduit for that feeling, and turn it into something productive. Yeah, that's 